I first got involved in OSIRIS um, as a computer science student at the University of Queensland and my co-founder Jake uh, at QUT, uh, we've been, you know, friends for a while and we've been discussing a lot about how to make things accessible, specifically scientific things, mathematics and so on, because I myself am blind. Uh, and, you know, our endeavor started there uh, with initially how to be able to measure things in the immediate space around me. And that's when the Macron came out. I do software engineering uh, as well as uh, software architecture. And uh, also I go around, I'm kind of the uh, vocal spearhead in terms of access tech across Australia and the world. Uh, my passion is pretty much internal. I'm a geek at heart uh, and I've always been creating my prior life was um, I was a professional in 3D and industrial design and I've transferred that uh, to a more kind of you know mathematically based uh, dimension uh, but yeah that's where my, the fire started. I've always been that way. The Macron is a simple yet ubiquitous tool. It is at its base a digital tape measure which is IoT so via Bluetooth connects to either an app or web platform and provides accurate measurement and the automation of recorded data for all sorts of industries. The Macron is the basis and the foundation uh, for our understanding of sensors and IoT, uh, being that both myself and Jake we've been doing you know embedded systems and microcontrollers uh, we know and are very well aware of the IoT revolution and thought that we could start small and then start expanding once we've gathered enough experience in terms of software architecture, communication, um, security, and as well as hardware design and manufacturing. The Macron is currently on trial um, at a pediatrics network in New York, at a wood workshop over here in Brisbane, and uh, we're hoping to have some trials starting in the next month uh, at a local private hospital. Being that the IP in the Macron provides us to expand to multiple uh, industries, uh, we're looking at um, construction and building as well as uh, using temporal data. So that means for the medical field, uh, we can use uh, the IP in the Macron to identify uh, such conditions as uh, sleep apnea and as well as monitoring different circum uh, circumferences uh, over time. So one of the interesting applications is, uh, for instance, Queensland Utility uh, uses um, a whole lot of resources to go and measure uh, sulfur buildup on their pipelines uh, for early alert on water leakages. And we understood that the monitoring system uh, that the Macron IP has is able to actually solve that problem. Well, one of the stories is uh, when we started to look at uh, solidity and you know test um, test the actual outer casing. Uh, me and Jake went on a bet uh, to see whether um, it was going to uh, actually go through the eggshell crack crash test. That's what we like to call it which is to actually roll over a macaron with a 500 kilogram motorbike. And Jake was pretty confident that it would stand a test. And for me, in the back of my head, I was like, nah, this is not gonna make it. It's uh, just prototype 3D print. And we videoed it in slow motion. And just as I expected, once the bike went through it, we heard a very interesting crack in slow-mo. And so, well, it was quite funny. Uh, something we didn't see coming is the worldwide in, wide interest that we got from media and from people uh, because we are not just working on the Mac 1. Our philosophy is actually spatial understanding, which initially was catering to the visually impaired, but we understood that crossed over to the sighted as new different uh, user interface paradigms. Uh, appeared uh, from our creations uh, and one of our uh, other products is basically a accessible stargazing app for the blind and that has garnered a lot of interest in the way it actually provides information uh, about space so that was a pretty good surprise 